Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Many of us wanted to know in detail about Rustam 2 drones and there are few updates recently regarding this program. Therefore we decided to make a detailed video on it. First we will look in details about its features and then we will talk about the series of updates regarding it. So let's get started. The Rustam drones are unmanned aerial vehicles developed by DRDO. It's a medium altitude long endurance drone being developed primarily to replace Israeli Huron drones operated by Indian Armed Forces. While Huron drones are primarily used for surveillance and reconnaissance, Rustam 2, also known as Tapas BH or Tactical Airborne Platform for Aerial Surveillance Beyond Horizon 201, will be armed with air-to-surface missiles and laser-guided bombs. Rustam 2 drones will also be capable of carrying a variety of payloads such as synthetic aperture radar, electronic intelligence systems and situational awareness systems. The Rustam 2 drone will be equipped with advanced technologies and systems such as aerodynamic configuration, high aspect ratio wing, composite airframe integrated with propulsion system, de-icing system for wings. It will have highly reliable systems with built-in redundancy for flight critical systems like flight control and navigation, data links, power management and mission critical payload management system. Rustam 2 will also have a digital flight control and navigation system, automatic takeoff and landing ATOL, digital communication technologies for realizing data links to control and operate the mission and relay UAVs. The payloads integrated with Rustam 2 will provide high resolution and precision stabilized platforms. It has a satellite communication link to relay situation in the battle theater on real time basis. Rustam 2 was initially powered by two NPO Saturn 36 MT wing mounted turboprop engine each capable of generating power of 100 horsepower. The drone can cruise at a speed of 125 to 175 kilometers per hour with a maximum speed of 225 kilometers per hour. The UAV will have a ferry range of 1000 kilometers and service ceiling of 27,000 feet. The total payload capacity of Rustam 2 is going to be 350 kgs. Rustam 2 is now flying with 180 horsepower engine which will further improve its payload capacity. The plan is to replace this engine with 165 to 210 horsepower class indigenous engine developed by TVRDE. DRDO has carried out the first flight test of Rustam 2 prototype in November 2016. Until now, total 77 development flights of Rustam 2 have been conducted. Overcoming the initial setback in October 2020, Rustam 2 completed 8 hours of endurance flight test at an altitude of 16,000 feet in Chitradurga, Karnataka. Rustam 2 had 1 hour of fuel left after 8 hours of test flying. However, the prototype is expected to achieve a height of 26,000 feet and endurance of 18 hours. Last year, Rustam 2 also flew with satellite communication SATCOM for the first time. It also flew with electro-optical sensors integrated. These are significant expansions in Rustam's capability envelope. While the EO sensor enhances the quality of its ISR missions, the SATCOM would permit exploitation of the UAV's full operational range, allowing human intervention at any point. At present, the Huron and Searcher UAV being operated by Tri Services of India does not have SATCOM mode of operation. With SATCOM, the ferry range of drone is limited only by the amount of fuel it carries. A total of 15 platforms are being planned during the development phase, out of which last five will be the production versions. These five will be handed over to the users for their independent evaluations. As we know that the program is running years behind its schedule and it was almost going to meet the fate of Arjun tank. However, the Galwan incident has been eye-opener for the armed forces. Government 
and DRDO where the need of UAV was felt badly. As per the latest information, the government is seriously pursuing the Rustam 2 and Ghatak UAV programs. Now the Tapas BS201 has just one developmental trial remaining to demonstrate 24 hour endurance at an altitude of 30,000 feet. From what it seems, DRD is maintaining lot of secrecy around this program and there has been no news related to its trial which was expected this year. Back in June, we have seen an RFP was released by ADE in which it sought for development come production agency. According to reports, a group of three private and four public sector companies would compete for the production of Rustam 2. The private companies included are Larsen and Tubro, Tata Power SED and Gotrej Aerospace Limited. And the public sector companies are HAL and BL had also submitted a joint bid. However, it seems HAL is winning the bid. It has recently released the list of their projects under which Rustam 2 was also mentioned. It has also been reported that the construction of six prototypes of UAV is in progress for the user trials. The prototypes will be handed to each of our armed forces for their independent feedback. Indian Army is a major stakeholder in Rustam 2 mission with a requirement of 60 platforms followed by the Indian Air Force 12 and Indian Navy 4. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.